Speak Student. Grapes of Wrath, Alashmup. Oklahoma, where the wind comes sweeping down the plain. Blowing away just about every job opportunity you can imagine. Yeah, that wind. Sound depressing? Well, yeah, it's the Great Depression. Recently upgraded from just the pretty good depression. You'd think that getting out of prison would be a happy occasion, full of cake and clothes and showers by myself. Well, mine was a bummer, though. There wasn't even a surprise party because my folks got kicked off their land to make room for job-eliminating tractors. I found my peeps at my uncle's house playing a West Coast road trip to get jobs and maybe a nice tan. Everybody was there, Ma and Pa and Uncle John and Grandma and Grandpa, and my little sister and my pregnant sister and my three brothers and one brother-in-law and my best buddy, Reverend Casey. Well, apparently this was going to be one crowded car ride to California. Good thing we stocked up on some big barf bags. Everybody piled into the Jodemobile. Grandpa didn't want to leave, but Ma slipped him a Mickey, and we were on our way. Doping Grandpa might not have been the best idea, because he sort of died. But on the bright side, I finally scored the window seat. Woohoo! Route 66 was a real drag. If you weren't out desperately looking for work, you were probably getting a runaround from a cheap boss, a greedy mechanic, or a scary cop. Plus, folks were telling us that California wasn't all that it was cracked up to be. And it didn't help that we had to pay just to rough it on the side of the road. Some smart guy cop forced us to leave one campground because we were Okies. And I'm pretty sure he didn't mean that we were Okie dokie, you know what I mean. The worst part though was when Ma dropped the bomb that Grandma had been dead for days. Ma hadn't told us because she thought we'd get pulled over. So basically we were driving around with a corpse in the car. Thanks mom. Well, it gets worse. One worker told us that the Move to Cali campaign was just a ruse to stuff the state with cheap labor. Fight the authorities and you'd end up blacklisted or dead. For example, some poor schmuck in our camp tried to stand up for himself and ask for a contract, and the police started shooting at him. During the scuffle, I tripped a trigger-happy cop, which is probably a violation of my parole, and good old Casey took the blame to save his fellow man. What a guy. So all in all, things weren't exactly going according to plan. By the time the angry drunken mob arrived to trash the camp, I was definitely having second thoughts about this move. Too bad I couldn't just skip town like Rose of Sharon's baby daddy. Luckily, I found Reverend Casey again, and I was really stoked. And then he was killed in an anti-union scuffle. I lost my head a little after that and axed a guy. Literally. Definitely a parole violation that time. After the drama, it was back to the daily grind, only this time I had to be stealthy about it to avoid uh, jail 2.0. Rose of Sharon lost her baby, which was another tearjerker, but she did find a second calling, breastfeeding starving men. Yeah, man, what a downer. Somebody tell Steinbeck to put me in a comedy next time. Please. Oh, Oklahoma.